just gonna trade right here. Awesome. <laughs> it's cool for a video. Yeah, I think so. Sometimes right I have my You've best networks in hotel rooms. <laughs> no, You've never, never seen, seen a hotel room work out? No. That's our specialty. So a lot of people train at five, six, seven gyms and everybody does different hours and then the body doesn't recover the same way so they don't know what's going on with their body, you know, why are they getting tired when they peak during training camp. <laughs> so, Nana is always in the best shape of her life is because there's a structure and she, we follow it so we can understand what's going on with her body and she performs well every time. So a lot of people feel slower when they're in the octagons because the ground has more give to it. But there's a lot of friction because <laughs> of all the sweat and water and blood and the stuff that they spray so it doesn't, it's not slick. It's a lot of friction but it's cushy. People don't understand how much that really affects them. So that's why I'm, you always be putting water on the ground. You never, if you're in a main event, you never walk in a, a dry campus. It's been such chaos. I haven't had a smooth UFC fight yet. Carmouche fight was, it had to be a success. So I had like up to five crews in the gym per day. Never, everyone was saying I'd never seen that much press on a, on a fight ever. I just couldn't say no to anything because this card had to do well. It was an experiment, you know, women's MMA. So if it didn't do well, I was out. You know, I didn't just have to win, I had to win and sell. I was so sick the first week of camp. Prime time I had to stay longer in Big Bear because I lost my voice. And then the major fight was right after the movies. I stayed in shape the whole time, but I had to keep my weight so low for so long. I lost a lot of muscle, a lot of muscle. And, and I, I spent that whole camp rebuilding and not really improving. Amazing. And technically, I was better than I ever was before, but my body you can't take ten weeks away and six weeks on and expect to be at your best ever. But I knew that it had to be done because I knew that I had to be good enough to beat Misha when I wasn't at my best and I knew I was capable of it. On the man, it was 56 days after that. Fastest successful title defense in UFC history. And my whole body was so worn down. I was so worn down. Now, I finally got a big chunk of time just to rest and just to focus on training during my rest and not really doing anything else. I mean, yeah, I filmed Entourage, but it wasn't that many days of filming. It was all in LA. And I got to train all the way through it. So this has been the smoothest, most enjoyable camp that I've ever had. And everyone's trying to play up this angle like I'm all distracted and I'm all Hollywood and all this shit. This is the most focused I've ever been, the most I've been able to focus just on a fight more than anything else I've been allowed to since I fought Sarah Kaufman four fights ago. So this is the best camp I've ever had and the best I've ever felt, by far. But the best thing to do for a fight is to make it seem routine, so this is just the routine of domination that I've finally settled into. You know. I don't know what you guys will show. Yeah. Type up the fight, you might just show me looking at my hands and doing my hair or whatever. And but you know what? With all Mayweather's countdowns, they show the other guy working his ass off and just show him looking at Bentley's, but I promise you he works way harder than any of these other guys do. It doesn't matter what you guys see. It's like the big exciting morning. I think I, that's probably what keeps me so calm for the fight is that I'm flying to the fight, but it's just a regular day. Still gotta make breakfast, you know, clean up, do laundry. Same thing. <laughs> Got everything? Yeah. Okay, let's go. You know, what would it mean if I won this? It would be life changing, pretty much.
she's undefeated. You know, she's the force to be reckoned with right now. And you know, this is everybody's dream, obviously, to fight for the title. It's a huge deal. Yeah, I want somebody who's gonna push me. I am like the fighter that strives in like these situations where I'm being pushed and I got the pressure on me. It's it's crazy to see where I've come from and where I am now and like this is this is it. this is where I'm supposed to be. There you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna move some ass. Do you feel like a star yet? No, I'm just Lexus Davis. <laughs> She's a star. Nah. I'm leaving Tuesday because last days is better for me. In two days, just two days. I'll bring you all my stuff for tonight and tomorrow and Thursday, that's it. It's more easy than three or four days. Fala, <coughs> hello, pa camera. Fala. Hello. Fala, bring the belt, daddy. Bring the belt, Daddy. <laughs> when I'm with my family, I feel I feel happy, and I think that to be happy is very important to to do a great performance because you have to be comfortable. Your mind has to be clear. If you put everything together, you can you can do a great fight great performance then for me to be with my family I feel very very calm and it's the most important thing for me I have a heavy schedule for this week and I have to be ready for everything EA Sports to the game so just for the record the only reason we play FIFA is because it's the only game <laughs> It's the only game Yo. he's good at. Madden? What happened to Madden, bro? We'll put that on. What happened to Madden, bro? You suck at Madden. You're terrible. I suck at Madden. You were the worst Madden player ever. I won $300 from you in one night in Madden because you wouldn't take the loss. Hang on. You owe me like $1,500. No. He's at $1,500 no. worth of debt with me. No. I don't bring it up because I feel bad. No, no, no. Now he just won't fight the night. It's all mine. I'm asking for a lot. Give it to me. Thank you. Thank you. It's about time. Ronaldo. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Let the cooking commence, baby. There it is, Ma. We make sure you, every two and a half hours, three at the most. You know, we're all friends, so we, we're always just hanging out, cracking jokes, having a good time. And everybody's here to help, too, you know what I mean? So it's not like he's going to be all stressed out about anything. It's pretty good. Looks like some quinoa, chicken, cucumber salad. Oh, that's pretty good. Should I tell you how dumb he is? Go ahead, he he thought he was looking for a UFC on the driver's thing. He doesn't know that UFC is owned by Zufa. So he thought they weren't there for him. Is he really going to lie? That dude is a UFC like, employee, that. and he doesn't know that Zufa <laughs> has a sign waiting for him, and then he blames me. Pays $50 on a taxi cab and blames me. That's pretty good. Pretty good one. That's yours. Yeah. That's on you, buddy. Do you know what Zufa stands for? You're, Do you know what Zufa stands for? I'm a tiger. Wrong. <laughs> Samurai. Wrong. <laughs> Number one. Do you know what it stands for? Now you're gonna say if I'm right. So who wins? You guys did know who it was since for. I mean, fight in Italian. Oh, boy! So, so I'm Italian, so I think I know what it means. All right, how do you spell it? 